He's Phoebe, yeah, who lives in Perth, making super videos for all his work. His channel is great, he's a good mate with Bella, fell on the head. G'day, beer lovers. Yeah, Joe Roll, mate, again here. VB Ed. Ah. G'day, beer lovers. In this video, I want to talk about a big issue in Australia this week that's blown up. Okay, it concerns the greyhound racing industry. Okay, now, you know how horse racing is the sport of the kings? You know, that's, that's a sport where all the rich people get involved. Well, with greyhound racing, that's the sport of the battlers. Yeah, it doesn't cost much money to get involved in greyhound racing. Now, it's always been tainted with uh, cruelty to animals, the greyhound racing industry. For instance, you know, like, after two or three years, you know, people don't want their dogs. You know, they don't want them as long-term pets, so they just get rid of them. You know, so it's barbaric from that level. And it's also very barbaric from the level of training them. Okay, now, dogs that have been baited have a distinct advantage over dogs that haven't been baited. Now, what we mean is dogs that have been trained to chase after live animals and then kill them at the end. That's called baiting. Now... And this, is, this has been going on, going on for decades, and then it's absolutely disgusting and abhorrent to most of the population. And then five years ago, the greyhound racing industry announced to the world that they were now clean. They've stamped out all those old practices. You know, that's they were practices of the Stone Age. Okay? Well, what's happened this week is that a uh, animal rights organisation in Australia called Animals, of, of Animals Australia have been going around and installing hidden cameras at some of these privately owned dog training tracks around Australia, mainly on the East Coast, yeah, Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria. And what they've managed to do is catch out many high profile trainers and dog owners in Australia. We're talking about 50 or 60 people have been implicated. You know, like the rest of the greyhound racing industry are all running for cover. They're saying, oh, they're just the the rogue element of the industry. Like, fuck. Those people are the elite of the industry. And, you know, it just so happens they're the ones that got caught. But it, th th this practice of baiting has to be rampant in their industry. You know, who can be naive to think it's not going on? Okay, now, what, the, what these cameras have shown is that these, these, tr these um, trainers have been using live animals like live piglets, live native possums and rabbits and they've been tying them to lures and then spinning them around a track you know and then at the end the greyhounds are just allowed to maul the poor creatures to death you know the creatures are tied down they can't defend themselves and all this was brought out in the footage of these hidden footage that, that, that these animals Australia managed to catch in their hidden cameras now what's happened now is this week some major sponsors of the industry, you know, like pet food producers, they started to pull out of the industry. Oh, fucking good. Let's take the money out of the industry, eh? Uh, the controlling body in New South Wales have been sacked. You know, they should have been monitoring all this. But, you know, it had, it had to be an animal rights organisation that had to do the investigative work and, and find out what, is that, what the fuck is actually going on. You know, so I think the whole industry should just be closed down well, the whole thing's fucking investigated and hopefully never bring it back. But the problem is, the industry is a billion dollar industry. You know, and, and so a lot of people are saying, you just can't let it fail and fall down. It's too important. Like, fuck, I don't give a fuck. You know, we're talking about animal cruelty. I hate animal cruelty. Couldn't give a fuck whether it's a billion dollar industry. Let's close the fucker down. So, in Western Australia, they're, they're, no one's been caught up. And they're saying here that the industry's clean. Oh, like, fuck, if it's going on in the Eastern States and the elite of the industry are doing it over there, they have to be doing it here as well. So, uh, yeah, let's close this, this fucking barbaric industry down, shall we? Now, it's been complicated a bit now because in Parliament, there's a couple of politicians that are pri trying to push through a private member's bill and what they're trying to do is they're trying to strengthen the anti-trespass laws you know, in Australia. In other words, you know, the laws in regards to trespassing on people's property. And if this gets passed, 
you won't be able to put hidden surveillance cameras on other people's property. So therefore, things like what's happening in the greyhound industry, that wouldn't have been exposed. You know, so, you know, they're mainly bringing this law in to try and uh, protect the cattle export industry, you know, because in the past they've caught out a lot of cruelty with the live animal trade with Indonesia and with the Middle East, you know, so, you know, they're only, they're only trying to bring this law in to just sort of protect their own fucking interests. Now, if I had committed a crime, like selling drugs, I stand to lose all my assets under the assets confiscation rules. Okay, if you, you commit a crime and you've got quite assets as a result of committing crimes, you lose your assets. That's the law in Australia. Well, we need to do this to these fucking trainers and these dog owners. Strip away all their fucking awards. Take away all their trophies. They are expecting, if they're found guilty, they are expecting to get two years imprisonment anyway for animal cruelty. And, you know, on top of their lifetime ban from the greyhound racing industry. I think that's fucking fair. So, uh, yeah, this story that's developing in Australia, it's very interesting, okay? So, the links to the program that exposed all this, Four Corners, I'll put the link to that story in the beer box below, okay? Catch you later, guys.